What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Tiger Belly, the podcast hosted by Bobby Lee and Kalila. Uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, Bobby Lee, obviously, comedian, actor, uh, Kalila, you know, I did, former nurse. Uh, I first heard, well, I didn't first hear about Bobby Lee, but Bobby Lee, my first experience with Bobby Lee in a podcast was DVD ASA. Actually, it was both, both Bobby and Kalila, DVD ASA. I think when they first started going out, uh, they went, uh, they were going on that show pretty regularly. And that was uh, David Cho's podcast with Asa Akira, uh, which was a show that I've talked about on this show before. Um, very instrumental in a lot of aspects of my podcasting journey. Uh, but I first kind of seen there uh, Bobby and Kalila on that show and so happy that I don't know how much longer, maybe it was a year after. Uh, or within the year after D- DVD ASA ended, uh, they started Tiger Belly, and I, I don't know, I, I didn't f- hear about them right away, but eventually, uh, Bobby was probably on some podcast promoting it, and I uh, started s- listening, watching actually Tiger Belly, which they released every Thursday as a new episode of Tiger Belly, produced by George Kimmel and Gilbert uh, Galon. Uh, tigerbelly.com is where you can find all their stuff but I enjoy watching the video version even the way the video version is shot is very much like DVD ASA where it has almost like the security camera um, kind of cells with different camera angles in each uh, each cell uh, which I enjoy that style it's a fun style where you can kind of choose your own camera angle uh, to watch the show from and get all the different reactions uh, the only two podcasts that I've seen that kind of have that style of video uh, production, uh, but I do enjoy it. Um, and it's it's just a fun show, a fun show. Bobby Lee is ridiculous. It is very, very similar in a lot of ways to DVD ASA uh, as far as the comedy. Bobby Lee is very much enjoys the chaos of things which i enjoy seeing him enjoy the chaos of things uh and then just his rapport with kalila and kalila's kind of grounded intelligence in the whole like it, it, they, it's a good balance it's a good balance i really enjoy them as a couple um and a podcasting couple i like Whenever they argue on the show or like you can kind of tell they're going through like, you know, it's a, it's a little bit drama times. Uh, I always get worried that like what would happen to the show if they broke up? Like would they I mean, I don't think it would almost be the end of the show. It would it, it'd see. I don't know if they would still do it together. I don't know if Bob I think they're going to get married. Um, but yeah, I enjoy <clears throat> I enjoy the show a lot, and they get a lot of guests on that a lot of other podcasts get on, but it's it's very much their own flavor, their own style of of a show. And even the producers, uh, George and Gilbert, they add a lot to uh, the show in their you know their their own little flavoring of uh, of ways. It'll be interesting to see. Apparently, Bobby got a new house, or they're getting a new house soon, so I would imagine the studio's going to change. So it'll be interesting to see uh, if they try and do anything different with the studio. It's one of those shows where I think it, it could be a little bit... It could be interesting to see where they go with the show. Um, but yeah, when I first started seeing them, it was on... They were regulars on DVD ASA, then they started this show. They have a lot of similar comedians on uh, or you know that are kind of in a lot of the other shows, a lot of comedy store comedians. Uh, Bobby Lee started stand up in San Diego, which I mean he grew up in um, Poway, which is a little bit north of San Diego, which is very interesting to see his uh, the stories that he tells, which he has super interesting stories. Uh, but it's interesting to see his story, his stories, and just you know mentally, I've lived and been to a lot of those places when I was living in San Diego, so. You know, it's just it's it's always interesting to have that extra layer uh, when somebody's telling a story when it's a place that you've been to, so you can kind of visualize it a little bit better. Uh, but Bobby's got crazy stories, um, 
and just I don't it's like it's just it's just such a fun show. It's just a hilarious show. They go deep, they go dark. I wish they would show more of the red line moments. Uh Bobby Lee's brother, Steve Stevie Weeby, who has his own uh Steve Lee, he has his own podcast, the Stevie Weeby show. He's also in the band uh Mongchi Hammer. Uh, with David Show, which is like a punk band that uh, he started with some regular people that were on DVD ASA. Uh, so it's it's uh, Steve Lee comes on uh, Tiger Belly now and then, which is always uh, a fun mix because you know the brothers kind of inside poking at each other. But I'd love to see those uh, red line moments a little bit more. I th- I would I would enjoy. I know they they probably have them up on their Patreon page which, you know, a lot of podcasts have uh, nowadays uh, that I if I if I was bringing in more money, I would love to start supporting some of these podcasts uh, on uh, Patreon and get some of their behind the scenes, which would be amazing. I don't know if he has, but it would be amazing if they had those moments, those uh, moments they cut out of the show sometimes actually in, even though it would probably be difficult or uncomfortable to watch. I don't really like people arguing, but at the same time, you know, curiosity. Like there was an episode of uh, Douglas Movies where Burt Kreischer came on and brought bought like 500 hamburger or 100 hamburgers or something like that that he was going to give out to people in the audience. And Doug Benson was like just not having it. And then Burt was like going off on like everybody because he felt attacked and ended up being just an asshole to um, tape. Tate, uh, fucking Jeff Tate. Jeff Tate was one of the guests, and and Bert and him, uh, Bert kind of was an asshole to him, and then they kind of split. I think I don't think they're friends anymore. Uh, and that was kind of uncomfortable to listen to because I'm a fan of Bert Kreischer, and it's disappointing to see. It's just disappointing to see anybody when they get to that anger stage. But I want to see Bobby when he hits because they talk about it, and I want to see it. I want to see it when he hits uh, hits that red line because I'm sure it reminds me of of you know spicy people that I I've known in the past and myself. I have moments where I red line. It's very difficult to get me there though. Um, a lot of meditation, a lot of meditation. But uh, yeah, Tiger Belly. I like if you're if po- as far as podcasts go, you know it's a basic interview show, whatever. But they bring their very unique style to it. And they have fun guests on, and I really it's it's a must. Whenever a new episode comes out on YouTube, I'm all over it, uh, and I recommend you do too. And they're they're one of the podcasts like your mom's house that is killing the merch game. The Tiger Belly shirts, I mean, the really good designs, really good artwork, which I'm sure because he came from the DVD ASA, he got some of those fans from that as far as from podcasting anyway. Uh, so, which is a lot of artists, I'm sure watched uh, DVD ASA. Um, so they get really good artwork and really cool shirts and, uh, it seems like they're killing it. So I enjoy the success of the show and look forward to more episodes. Um, and I hope you do too. That's it for this episode of the Ray Taylor show. New episodes do come out every day. Subscribe on IGTV and everywhere else podcasts are found. You can binge the full week in advance over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Like I said before, become a member of my Patreon and you get special binge privileges. Uh, in, uh, in addition to other things like buying artwork from my website, inspireddisorder.com. That's where I have a bunch of original paintings, which if you're a member of the Patreon page, you can get for a massively reduced price. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!